Hello and welcome back. This is Tron at Homegrown Audio. Today we will check Vital again and make some percussions. I got a kick and a bass I made in a previous video and if you want to check it out, click the tab right here. And we will use the noises from the sample module and some others I recorded in my garden the other day. Check this tab for the recordings video. Let's make a snare first. To make a decent snare, in my opinion, we need to layer a few noises. To have full control over the decay and attack of each part of your snare. So first, let's try with the sampler and the default noise. I'll tighten up the envelopes and send envelope 2 to filter 1, low pass filter. I generally adjust the resonance and filter types afterwards. Now filter 2 high pass filter to localize this snare layer on the top of the spectrum. That will do really. Now let's duplicate this track and use it for the mid-range snare. Same principle applies. I will change the filter shape and see if it helps. Maybe also change the noise to avoid most facing issues. Okay, let's say we got our second snare layer roughly. I'll add a sign on the oscillator too and we'll pitch bend it like a kick but just mildly. This is to emulate the elasticity of the drum being hit. I'll adjust the decay of it quickly. Now I'll check the spectrum to see if the low point is not too low, but it's around 150 hertz, so that or higher is pretty good. I'll adjust the top layer. Sometimes I use some distortion to accentuate. Okay, that will work. Sometimes I would just use these two layers. but feels like this could use some more punch. I'll try to make a third player just for the initial click of the snare. Let's see if it works. You can also use EQ or transient designers to get the attack of the snare more present or multiband distortions, loads of other things if you need more punch and you like the sound of your layers already. I want a bit more of a crunchy sound in my snare, so I want one more snappy layer. Now I'll make a group and send all these layers there. I'll use the free melder compressor. I kind of like the sound of it, it's super tight.
After messing a bit with layers and adjusting parameters on them, we got some noise resembling a snare. Now, following the same principles, let's make some hi-hats and create our rhythm section. And this noise will do fine. Now let's try the kick hat. I'll duplicate this channel and do some adjustments. You can see I use the filters to open so the transient is heavier than the rest of the sound. Well, that will do for a kick hat. I'll make another instance of Vital and do a 16th pattern. I'll just remove the one that goes on the kick. Let's try some of our garden recordings. Now I'll make an open hat. Let's use white noise this time. Most work is done on the amp envelope, but also you can push the transient a bit with the filters. I'll shape this with distortion and a bit of compression.
Okay, that's the basic rhythm section. Now I'll make something like an FM hi-hat. Instead of drawing the MIDI, I'll make the rhythm with the LFO. I'll use a bandpass and assign sample and hold as a stereo modulation. This synth is so similar to Serum in its functions. I had to try to make percussion here too. You will notice my approach is very similar though. This synth feels tighter though in terms of envelopes in my opinion. I might be wrong. Also filters feel nicer. Even on 2x over sampling they sound better than Serum on 4x. Serum has its own unique functions and curve modulation and all its cool things that make it a beast on its own and very unique. I think I can't live without either one of them anymore. Anyways, that is all for today. I hope you find this useful. I'll be doing some more vital tutorials in the near future. And if you have any doubts about specific things being done here or if you have any suggestions, don't be shy and leave your comment. The usual shout out to all my patrons, you guys rock. Thanks a lot for your support. Check Homegrown Patron for all presets and stuff related to this channel. Like this video and subscribe to the channel if you like the content and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.